welcome to Hookerween. Now, this is not about shaming people for being sexy on Halloween. Mm -mm. That's cool if you want to do it, if that's your thing. That's cool. We have no problem with this. If you want to freeze your bippy off in lingerie and fishnets, dude, that's your business. However, this is not so much the being sexy thing. It's what you're trying to be sexy as. Yes. There are some things that you shouldn't want to entice people to fuck. No. Some things are not inherently sexy and shouldn't really even be shown the word sexy, let alone entangled with it. In addition, there is there are things that these costumes, they're made, they're manufactured, they're planned, they're designed, they're sold, which means someone somewhere wanted to fuck these. And I also want to know, because someone in the chat's going to say it, probably 10 someone's, yes, we are aware, we are almost certainly going to have a couple things from Yandy.com. Yeah. Yes, we are aware that they do costumes as, like, jokes. That they do troll costumes. But you know what? If it didn't make the money, they wouldn't. Yeah. If yeah. someone didn't buy them, they wouldn't make them. We are, however, going to start with two, uh, I, I think we'll call these honorable mentions. Not so much for the sexy part of it, but just for the fuck that these costumes were made at all. The first one, and I think this is actually the one that's going to give people the most nightmares tonight. Um, I knew after the Super Bowl that this thing was inevitable. In fact, I called it. And... It should not exist. It, no one should. But, and yet, for the low, low price of $50, you. Oh, no. <laughs> this Halloween, you can be the puppy monkey baby. A joke that is so, like, that meme is gone. Yes. Nobody's going to get it anymore. That That is not a meme that caught on. This, 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 no. This. Puppy monkey baby. Oh. God. I still don't get that ad. There are like three great things that are great together. And I'm like, first of all, if your target audience is young single dudes, they probably don't think babies are high on. Like, no. th that's probably not one of their top three things that they love. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe Puppy Monkey Stratocaster. Yeah, I might be cool with puppy that. Puppy Monkey Beer. Yeah, Puppy Monkey Beer. Yeah, but... So first of all, you don't really know your demographic. Second, this was weird and horrifying. Oh, wow. So People here aren't even familiar with Puppy Monkey. Oh, my God. You, had... you got to YouTube that shit after this. Yeah. Because it's awful. Like, Mount... I think it was Mountain Dew created this nightmarish homunculus to try and sell energy drinks. I was actually a little bit scared they were going to do like, you remember the uh, the Geico ads with the cavemen that became yeah, a, a, that a, TV a TV show? show. I was scared we were going to have a puppy monkey baby TV show. But see what I mean? Like, this is not a meme that took off. No. So nobody's going to fucking get it if you wear this costume. They were going to be like, what? are you like is it like an island of dr moreau thing no i'm puppy monkey baby also suddenly you're a grown man in a diaper that's never a good halloween for anybody and if that's your thing that's fine but keep it at home yeah don't inflict your kink on unsuspecting people the next one on this list is it's not a people costume Hence the honorable mention. However, it is unsettling. Why did this happen? How did this happen? Who decided this was a good idea? <sighs> and this re further reinforces you should not put your animals in costumes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jersey Shore schnooky oh dog costume. 
First of all, why does she only have cleavage for two boobs when dogs have six teeth? First of all, that's not even anatomically correct. I wanted to dress the kittens up in costumes and Dan wouldn't let me. Dan was right. Thank you, Dan. Give the, the, the your poor animals, my cat has to poop in a box, okay? He already has a low dignity threshold. I'm not taking any more away from him if I can help it. They clean it, yeah, and then you clean it up for him. Still, I mean, why, who? Our kitties have it pretty good. And kitty. I'm going to point out this, this, in case you were thinking, oh, the boobs are downplayed. No, no, the advertisement for, the, for this itself says, Snooki-inspired Halloween dog costume with fake boobs in all capital letters. But only two. It should be six. That's what's hanging you up on this one, Tara? You can't nurse a litter with two boobs. That's the one that's hanging you up here. Yeah. If you're going to go absurd, go fucking absurd. <laughs> go like Salvador Dali's nightmare. Go like Dali and Hieronymus Bosch having a fucking orgy in a kiddie pool of creamed corn absurd. Go hard or go the fuck home is what I'm saying. Uh, all right. Well, it's time. And on this one, fuck's sake, this one. Yes, we saw it. Everybody saw it. I want this meme to die. I don't understand this meme. This meme has gone fucked up places. This meme has gone racist places. This meme is horrible. And for God's sake, why and why would you want to fuck this meme? Everyone sent this. The sexy. Don't draw that for Tara. Don't draw me that. The sexy Harambe. Yeah. Why does everybody want to fuck a dead gorilla? Poor Harambe. This is not the legacy he deserves. I swear to God, anyone. Okay, Haven't yeah. Heard Guess Harambe what? Enough? Next person who says dicks out, you're getting kicked. I'm going to slap you. I I'm tired of hearing dicks out for Harambe. I am sick to goddamn is that death. A thing? Of that. that is a thing. Why is that a thing? I don't know why that's a thing. Like, what manner of thing even is that? I don't know what that is. Damn kids. D -d -d dicks out for her. So, yeah, of course, this one Harambe was. Harambe is not interested in your dick. Even this... before he was dead. <sighs> yeah, I don't... First of all, I don't know what's inherently sexy about a gorilla. But even more, a dead one. Yeah. So, lots of people sent me different sites were selling this as the, 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 the Harambe costume. Sexy Harambe. <sighs> But even if you just bill it as sexy gorilla, it's still stupid. Oh, well, let's move on along. Um, this is one that keeps coming up often. And that is things that are intended and meant for small children. Why do we keep sexualizing these? That's not sexy. That's just weird. Because we're horrible. And I present to you the sexy Tinky Winky costume. Is he the gay one? I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, he's the gay one. Because he's the purple triangle one with the, the purse. purse. Well, that just makes us even more confusing. Yeah, because it's a woman in it. Yeah. So it's not even canonical. Why, 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 why do they keep doing this shit? And has there ever been a less sexy children's show than Teletubbies? Teletubbies exist for, for the only... Like, what are those things? And what language do they speak? And why? And The, the only purpose that Teletubbies serves for adults 
is something to watch while you're fucking stoned. I mean, I guess you could argue that they look like what a butt plug might look like given life. And just just to uh, to to give you an idea of the difference here, this is the woman's tanky winky dra- uh, uh, costume. Is there men's? This is the men's tinky winky costume. Just to get to compare and contrast. Is it just a speedo and a triangle head thing? Nope. You're gonna be a little a little annoyed, actually. Well, of course the men's one isn't sexy. I thought so. Yeah, see, exactly. See, this is the bullshit. Like, y'all don't know what it's like shopping for a Halloween costume as a woman. Because you can't just be a fireman. You have to be a sexy fireman. You can't just be a fucking anything. Literally anything. Name anything. Anything. You can't just be that thing. You have to be a sexy that thing. And it's bullshit. Mm-hmm. Like, I was Ginny Weasley at work today. I put that costume together myself. Because you know why? At the Halloween shop, they only had sexy wizard students. Yeah, they have sexy Hogwarts. And it's harder to find a, just a regular old Hogwarts outfit for a grown-up. Well, I guess... Bullshit. Well, now it's time for the next bullshit. Um, cultural insensitivity. Oh, yay. And this this one... I thought we covered that with Harambe. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, th- this one is one of those... I'm tired of giving this one the benefit of the doubt because it's one of those words that we should have stopped saying by now. I know you. Th- there is justification. You may be a little ignorant of it, but people should know better by now. The mischievous gypsy costume. Oh, yeah. That, in case you didn't know, that's not a word you should say. Yeah. It's it's really not. It is a slur, in fact. It's not a word you should say. And for those people going, oh, Yandy, it's a joke. It's funny. This is from Yandy. I'm not laughing. It's... It's it's just not a word you should say. Also, it's really ugly. It is, isn't it? Like, what color scheme is that? Or yellow, red, and purple. That's a. Isn't that a color scheme for a character? Which one? Is it Jafar? Well, what's even more? Look at the price on this thing. Eighty dollars. Eighty-one fucking dollars for that. There's not even like three yards of fabric on that motherfucker. That is, th- th- that's a ripoff. You can make that out of scraps. So we, we've got it. It's it's offensive, and a ripoff. And even people in the channel are going, "Gypsy's a slur." Yeah, it kind of is. It's offensive. It's a ripoff, and it's ugly. Yep. You got the fucking hat trick. Uh, is that where the term "jip" comes from? Yes, exactly. Yes. That is exactly. Don't where say the term... that either. Don't say that either. Yeah. So just it. Yeah. Looks more like a sexy Hindu to me. Well, that would not be okay either. <laughs> like if your costume is based on. This is a costume because it's a not white person. That's not a good costume. That's not a good costume. You can do better. Look at me. You could be a unicorn. And I realize I am wearing a cultural. Well, that's what that is not. You know, that is you're not dressing up as a Mexican. You're not dressing up as a Spaniard. You're dressing. And I did it because we are now into Dia de los Muertos. So, you know, it's the right to do it. I didn't just wear a fucking sombrero and a mustache. Right. Exactly. This next one is, okay, we keep getting these every year. Something gets popular. They make a sexy version of it. (sighs) 
I think this is the first time ever that we are beginning to fetishize publicly a dead president, a dead old longtime president. Oh, oh. Sexy Ally Hamilton. He wasn't ever president, though, no, was he? he? Wasn't, no, he wasn't president. But yeah, just, he was just founding a, father He founded type. the treasury yeah. and stuff. Founding father type person. Yeah. I mean, actually, it's not a bad representation of what the backup dancers in the show wear. Yeah. But. <laughs> really? Now... I if you're going to do a sexy dead president, or, well, not president, if you're going to do a sexy dead founding father, you got to go for the Ben Franklin because that man was a whore. <laughs> he was. Oh, he was great, but he was. But oh, I was Peggy moving around. But now I can, I can under, now here's the thing, guys. If you really want to fuck... Lynn uh, Manuel. If Which want, many people do, and that's fine. Just accept that. Just that's take cool. The pictures of Lynn Manuel. Don't you won't be alone. But the fact that they have to like put boobs on it just to make it okay for a guy to feel sexually attracted to, man, he's a pretty man. I'll say this: I'm a dude. I'm a straight dude. He's a pretty man. I can understand your feelings, but you need to embrace those feelings and accept them. And they're okay. They're okay. Hey. You don't have, you, you stop, you know, just, just, you be you, You can man. just think about it. Yeah. If you want to suck a cock, suck a cock. If you don't, don't. Yeah. Like, it's okay. $136 for that. But like I said, it does, it is a pretty fair representation of what the backup dancers in the show wear. They have that much cleavage? All told. No, you'd have to put like okay, a then. blouse. Okay, if you put a full blouse under it instead of just the neck piece representing a furly blouse. Okay, then. Then okay. it would be a pretty fair representation. Now, this next also, one. I think their pants are actually fabric and not just spandex, but, you know. I think you actually sent me this one, which surprised the dick out of me. Not just the costume itself, but where it's available from. This one isn't so much insensitive as just plain someone wanted to fuck it. <laughs> yeah. You got some kink on you, son. The Naughty Pilgrim. Yeah. And I want you to take a moment briefly and take note of what store is selling this. Now it is a very reasonable price, Give it its Walmart, always low prices, always. $31. That that is that is a good value. On the other hand, oh wow, the picture fucked up. That's not how it's supposed to look. On the other hand, can can we can we you wanna fuck a pilgrim? Like, you know that they were literally called Puritans, right? Yeah, you're not getting a really good lay out of that. I'm just saying. I mean, I guess if you put a big old red A on it. Well, even still. Then you've got sexy Hester Prynne, and at least you're making a literary statement. But, yeah, just, I love the irony of its existence. I love the irony of it being at Walmart. I love that they named her Prudence. Like, I love everything about this terrible piece of shit. It is, it's kind of, you know, really, look, I'm just going to tell you straight up, they don't know what they're doing. So you're not going to have a good time. You got to wear this for Thanksgiving dinner and be like, so, leg or breast? <laughs> and just watch your family be really uncomfortable. You ain't right, Tara. <laughs> 
Oh, God. That's why you have me do this job. This is one that just kind of confuses me. I don't really understand this. I, I don't... And yet... And yet... The sexy, selfie, socialite, wink, wink, nudge, nudge costume. It's Snapchat. It's, it's fucking Snap... Who wants to fuck Snapchat? Oh. I can, I can understand wanting to fuck people on Snapchat. But... Fucking Snapchat itself. You're doing sexy apps now? Yeah, I guess. Okay. And what's worse is they put the dog face on it, which looks, that's not a very sexy thing. Because now we're doing sexy bestiality apps. Yeah, it's just... It... Do you secretly want to fuck a hot chick with the face of a dog, but only for 15 seconds, and then you'll forget it forever? <laughs> Have we got the costume for you? <laughs> a really specific fetish. <laughs> uh, why? Why did this? Yeah, can you imagine sexy live journal? No, I can't. I just it, what? Who thought of this one? Seventy-five dollars for that one, and that's not worth it. Seventy-five fucking dollars. Uh, this I can't wait for sexy Uber. <laughs> this is the next one. Again, you sent me this one as well. I don't. You know, if there's a if there's a Jeopardy category of things that don't give me erections, <laughs> it's this whole segment. Well, yeah, this would definitely be included on that. Ladies and gentlemen, the sexy poop emoji costume. Yes! If you're like kind of into scat porn, but not ready to commit. For the low, low price of $60. You too can be a sexy turd. A sexy turd. And let me just say, if you're going that's out... That's literally what you're dressing as. You are dressing as a sexed up piece of shit. A very happy sexed up piece of shit. Yeah. And I, let me just say, in terms of practicality, at least a lot of the others tend to look like clothing. This... This looks like it would be... Halloween is in October. It's chilly. You want to go out on the street just in this? Yeah, I mean, not everywhere, but where I am, certainly, it's pretty fucking cold. That that would be... Also, this, this is just hideous. And I guess if you wanted, you could put brown pants with it. But this, this is just hideous, though. Everything about it, yeah. It's unflattering. Yeah. Because that, let me tell you, that particular cut at the leg... Only looks good on models because it cuts not under your ass, not up your ass, but like right across the fattest part of your ass. That's where that thing cuts. This only looks good if you're a size zero. You can tell that the arms are like bunched up and don't fit her right. Yeah. It's got a fucking mock turtleneck. Why? So that now, aside from just being weird and creepy, so it's a fashion disaster. Being, a sexualized anthropomorphic, what I can never say that word. You know the word I'm going for. I can never say it out loud. Anthropomorphic. Yes. Of literal shit. It's also just desperately unsexy in its design. So this, uh, this it can be like, yours for $57.95. This is like the ubermensch of unsexy, sexy costumes. Oh, Lizzie Borden says, some people think that they're the shit. That was bad. But there are people that are into poop. <sighs> yeah, but... I don't know why. Yeah, but... I'm but, not going to judge them. Yeah, but... But this isn't even that. This is the smiling, happy poop. Yeah. 
That's, that's no, I mean, just... if you wanted to be really fucking funny, you could wear this and have your boyfriend go with Mr. Hanky. And then you might get some cred. I, Not a lot, because you're both dressed as poop. And it's an awful costume, too. Yeah, it's bad. <sighs> All right, this this one was another one of the inevitable ones. I don't know who watched that second debate <laughs> and saw this guy come up and ask his question and thought... And then saw the Reddit AMA. And thought, that. I want to fuck that. The sexy, undecided voter. It's the Ken Bone costume. <laughs> It's the Ken Wanna Bone costume. Do you hear that? <laughs> Is that the bad joke, please? That's a, that's a comedy, please. They're coming for your ass. They're late because I've been doing this shit a long time. <sighs> really? Really, really, really? Because let me tell you, nothing revs most dudes' engines like a hot blonde with a Magnum P.I. mustache. Who? A hundred and ten dollars! For that! Yeah. A hundred and ten dollars! What's wrong with you? I still don't entirely get the whole Ken Bone thing. Like I don't either. It's like it's like he stood, stood up in a red sweater and asked only okay climate change question and became an internet sensation. And then he did a Reddit AMA where it was came out that he's kind of a gross creeper. A little bit. And we're we're still all about Ken. I don't know, man. Well, I don't know what. Yeah, it's, it's but it's like. Was someone sitting there at Yandy going, that guy, somebody's going to want to fuck that guy. Call the warehouse. We're putting that fucker together in time for Halloween. And these guys, they're amazing because they do it. They do that shit fast. Yes. Like they're quick. All right. This one. I'm not going to. Let's not leave the guys out of this here. Oh, yes. Folks, this one is, I, I thought, I, I, I don't know if it's going to be the puppy monkey baby costume or this one that will haunt your dreams. But once you see this, you cannot unsee. And this costume is actually called sexy. Place I your bets on whether or not I buy it for Dan at the end of this segment. I don't know why this was called sexy, but... Ladies and gentlemen, the adult naked sexy man skin suit costume. What? Gaze oh. on this horror. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Some of the poses. What's interesting about this? It's painted up with muscles so that you can like pretend to look good naked. But in order to fit into it, from the way it's cut to me, you would probably look good naked. Look, just look at that. That is terrifying. Look it's, at the face on that thing. Do you think the dick is digitized out in real life? I don't know. I just, it, that is, that is, uh, that is just, what the fuck? Like, I feel like if you're going to go as a naked man for Halloween, just be naked. Well, that's not legal, Tara. Just look at the. It, but even the men's sexy costume, they get to be fully fucking covered. It's, it's just, it. That face on the thing is going to haunt me. Yeah, that's some Uncanny Valley shit right there. That is... Is, it, is the face Ryan Lochte? I don't know. I think it is. Well, that's just weird. 
And why is his face so small in comparison with his neck? I don't know, but it's freaking me out. I I mean, look at the sizing on this thing. If if you could fit into this, you probably already look all right naked. Yeah. But it's just, it's, it's, this is creepy as shit. Yeah. I mean, goddamn. Why would you do this? I, I mean, you can't wear shoes with it. No. Is that a mask? Yes, that's the mask. That's not the, that's not the actual. They've got a picture of the guy with the mask off. Just to show you. Embrace your streaker college days in this muscular jumpsuit. You're really not embracing your streaker college days because yeah. you're fully clothed. How do you breathe in that thing? So you're going to buy that one for Dan, huh, Tara? Yes. Oh, shit. And he's asleep, so he doesn't know. <laughs> You are just, you are angling for that divorce, I swear to God. No, I'm not. I just got health insurance. <laughs> the last one tonight, they, they actually took this one off the market. All right, do you remember a while back when Kim Kardashian was in Paris? Yes. And she was taken hostage, tied up, and robbed. That wasn't cool. No. Whatever you may think of Kim Kardashian, you don't That's do that. A terrible to, thing. You don't do that if to it's anybody. Somebody you don't like. It's right. a terrible thing. But some company out there saw that and get, hey, you know what? Oh no. Oh yes. No. Yes. They took the shit off the market. The Kim Kardashian Parisian heist robbery victim costume. Come on, dude. <sighs> That's just unnecessary. Also, it's literally just a bathrobe and some rope and a big fake ring. That is... That... That is... They wanted $70 for a fucking bathrobe? They wanted $70 for a fucking bathrobe. Go fuck yourself. That is... That's... Fuck you people. Who thought this would be funny or sexy or... Like... The topical costume has its place. The topical asshole costume does not. I just, I, I, that, someone modeled that is the other thing that's yeah. messing with me. Well, the thing is, not only did somebody design it, somebody fucking approved it. Yeah, that that, that went through, whenever you see a product on the market. That's gone through a chain of command. That's gone through several sets of approvals. A lot of people. Bug. A whole they, lot they of people. Yeah. Yeah. At least a dozen, if not more, had to go, that's a great idea. Yeah. Let's do that. I see no problems with this whatsoever. Yeah. Baby, what are you doing? So that that was our... That was this year's worst... God damn it. And now, a kitten. Uh... Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Ow. Okay. <laughs> now, even the cat didn't want any part of this shit. No, I, I refuse to be part of this. <sighs> okay, bye, Dottie. I just, I just, I just. I feel like maybe next year we should coordinate on the tone of our, of our costumes. <laughs> Because I logged on and I saw I, I saw what you were wearing and I was like, boy, we are not going to coordinate. I think mine is much more terrifying than yours. Well, only because you're part of the problem with the whole sexualizing our childhood thing. I think it looks cozy and delightful. You know what costume would have been great? I didn't see it, but I, I would have worn it. I don't care if it wasn't my gender. I still would have worn it. 
Shame. Shame. <laughs> Shit. I, mother, I would have gone out in the street and just looked at all those fucking costumes on this list and be like, shame. Shame. <laughs>